Greetings and salutations, gamers. This is Laws85 with episode 68 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we traveled through the awakened gate of time to talk to Prin to Zelda. There we go, trying to call her Princess Zelda. Alright. And she tells us she's the reborn mortal form of the goddess Hylia. She tells us she'll, you know, apologize for, for bringing us into this mix. But we have a. a, a breakable spirit and she empowers our master sword to be the true master sword and thus she tells us we still have one more thing to do we have to go and find the triforce which is somewhere in Skyla but let's talk to him first mm. I see you've said goodbye now you must keep the promise you made to her you must find the triforce return to your time there's work to do be done there. <laughs> do not fear for Zelda. I will watch over here, her here. Go now and fulfill your destiny. Alright, so. We enter the gate of time and head back to present day uh, of the world. And here we are. We're back in the present time. And let's see. The old lady here. So, you've returned. Then you know everything. On the other side of that gate, Zelda awaits. Suspended in sleep with that end. But do not despair. For she is still alive and well. True to legend, the Triforce is the one thing with the power to vanquish demise. It is thou to have been hidden within Skyloft by the goddess. Sadly, this is all we know of where it rests. All the clues to her whereabouts have been lost to the ages. Link, you have likely come to the same conclusion, but I'll spell it out just the same. The key to finding the Triforce must be in Skyloft. Go now, Link. Find the Triforce. Help! Whoa! Whoa there, Link! Oh, hold up. <laughs> Link, there's something I want to... I gotta tell you. So, Zelda. How's she holding up? Was she okay when you saw her? She was? Oh, good to hear. But she's still stuck there till this whole mess blows over, huh? <laughs> Link, I made up my mind. I'm not going back. I'm staying right here with Granny. <laughs> oh, don't look so bummed out. Do I look sad? Nah, I'm doing what I want to do. I don't know how to explain it. I get this feeling in my belly that there's work to do here. Someone's got to watch the big ugly monster and someone's got to make sure Granny's doing all right. It ain't action packed as what you're doing, but maybe this is my destiny. Know what I mean? Besides, it's not so bad here. Living up in the sky, okay, I guess, but don't just don't you just love the way it smells down here? What? That's not too weird to say. Check it out. Zelda and Granny have brought life back to the land here. I bet even with a weak sapling could grow into one of the beast of a tree in soil like this. I'd it brighten this place up like little too. I mean sure it'd take a few years for it to grow, but as far as I'm concerned, I got nothing but time. It's weird to say out loud, but that's just how I feel, right? So yeah, you know what? When you get back to Skyloft, Skyloft, do me a favor and let people know I'm doing okay down here. Calvin and Stretch, <laughs> Stretch might get a little emotional since they look up to me, but you tell them I'm happy, okay? <laughs> Thanks, Link. Alrighty, guys. So, we now have another little mission. You thought that would have been it. Zelda wouldn't find the beast. That now, 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 now we're actually hunting down the Triforce. Gee, what game do you not hunt down any part of the Triforce? Alright guys, um... I will be quite honest here. In that, um... 
I hate really saying to do and doing this, but it's something that I really need to do. I felt that this LP's gone on long enough. I mean, really longer than what I intended for. I figured it'd been over by now, but due to my early goings of being an LPer, I have dropped the ball badly. So what I'm going to do is, from here on out, unless it's necessary to complete the story or help me complete the story the best possible, I'm going to suspend all side questing. And I will come back to them down the road uh, in a bonus video attached to season two, or I might even come back and just completely redo the second this season this this LP when I feel like I have better prepared. I mean, I should have been more prepared when I did this game, but I thought it was, but I wasn't. But guys, we're gonna head to Skyloft and we're gonna find out see if we can find anything out about the uh, Triforce. So guys, I will see you in Skyloft, so hang tight. Alright guys. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we're back and I landed at the Knights Academy. One person that we were all, that was told, that told us to come back if we ever needed any information was Headmaster Kapora. So, let's give the Headmaster a visit and see if he can point us in the right direction. Ah, here you go, Pip. How you doing? How you doing? Pop, pop, G. And to all the side quests that I had done, I had really intended to do them, but I I'm really sorry. It's just I want to go ahead and get this LP over with so I can move on to other projects. And like I said, during in-between times when I have time, I will come back and I will show off the various side quests that I did not complete and the other things. None of the things that, I, that I'm skipping are important to story. Um, there is maybe one thing that I will at least do off screen to get because it is a nice little piece of, of equipment, but everything else is not important because you can pick it up somehow, some way down the line. So let's talk to Gapora here. Hey. Ah, hello, Link. Have you heard anything about my daughter? What is this? Do you know anything at all? I urge you to share it with me. You want to tell me, but you can't. Hmm. I understand. I'm sure you have good reason for keeping quiet. Link, I've been doing some thinking since we last spoke. You've had... You have had this destiny thrust upon you without warning. Or choice, for the matter. But I wish to help you as much, best I can. I'm getting older, and I lack the vigor of youth. But even old men have ways of being useful, too. I wish to share as much of my knowledge with you as I can. If you have any questions, any questions at all about Squ Skyloft or its history, I will be glad to tell you all I know. Actually, what do you, <clears throat> what do I know of the Triforce? Link, where did you hear that word? It's true that the ancient texts make several mentions of the Triforce without their within within their pages. Unfortunately, the actual location of the Triforce is an illuminated in any of the tomes. Its whereabouts are lost to history. Great, so we can't find it? Sorry, Link. It's a shame to say it, but my knowledge is of little use on this subject. Okay, let's press him a little bit more. Do you have any knowledge of my, who might know about the Triforce? Within Skyloft? No, I doubt anyone else around town might know much about the subject as ancient and arch archaic as that. Okay. Okay. Well, you're just gonna ramble on and. Alright. Link, just a moment. Though there is one whose vast knowledge of may be of use. Surely you're familiar with Levias, the great sky spirit who has guarded our realm for ages. Levias has served as the protector of our skies for as long time. His knowledge of our world is in encyclopedic, to put it mildly. If anyone in the entirety of Skyloft and beyond might know who about them. Yep. Yes, I fear that might be your next question about that. Sorry, I, <laughs> one of my cats decided to get up on the table here and she's like, Hey, I love you, Daddy. Uh, pay attention. You're doing something, I want to be a part of it. So here we go. I imagine in your travels you've taken notice of the tremendous thunderhead that has suddenly appeared in our skies. 
Recently, I've heard rumors suggesting that Leviathan is trapped w inside that massive cloud. I asked Instructor Owl to look into the troubling cloud in order to determine if there is any truth to these rumors. I had meant to inquire about his findings earlier, but completely forgot about it after Zelda went missing. Instructor Owl can fill me in on the details later, so why don't you go speak with him yourself and see what, he, what inve investigations he has revealed. Alright, so we have to go talk to one of the instructors to see if he knows about Levias and see what we can do. And let's see, is that? Nope, nope. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Right next door to the headmaster. Alright, and of course with the bubble over his head. Oh, Link! How goes your search for Zelda? Have you found her yet? What? Levias? Ah, so you've been talking to the headmaster, I take it. If I'm correct, Levias is the one inside the Thunderhead, but that's not the Levias that we all know. That's... a monster. It certainly looks like Levias, but last time I approached him, he came rushing at me and his eyes, they were full of malice. People change, or old wizened creatures change rather. Perhaps it's more that he is possessed by something. That is how it felt to me. What? You want to talk to Levias? That's impossible. I don't think Levias is capable of listening. Not in his current state, no. And even you were, even if you were to get close, even if to talk to him, it will likely end with you getting brushed aside and sent flying to your death in the sea, in the sea of clouds. Well, I can't talk today. What? You're still planning on going? I see. It's because you need to find Zelda. I understand. I get the feeling nothing I could say would talk you out of it. Yeah, you, you'd be about right. Hey, I have an idea. Come with me. Hey! Oops, sorry about that, guys. Levias is just inside the Thunderhead. He's acting so strangely, like something has possessed him. If we were somehow free him from whatever it is that held over him, there's a chance he will return to his senses. Listen well, Link. Listen, because I'm about to teach you a very powerful bird riding technique. It's called the Spiral Charge. Using the Spiral Charge, you can rid Levi's of blight that has hold of him. The technique is only easy to perform. All you have to do is press A. However, the accelerate effects last longer than any attack move you've used so far. Maintaining stable flight can be tricky. This is a technique that only senior Knight Academy students who have mastered high level flight skills are allowed to perform. So basically, our normal little charge is getting uh, pretty much powered up. It's still a bit too early for you, but there's an extra. <clears throat> Extraordinary circumstances, so I'll make an exception this time. However, I will test you. First, dive off the platform and call your bird. Alright, so let's... Link, where are you? Oh, okay. Alright, so this is actually a mini game that is required. I forgot about this one little mini game. Listen up, Link. I taught your Loftling to perform a spiral charge when you press A. Press A to spiral charge to break ten targets placed around the floating boulders up ahead. If you can destroy ten targets in under 120 seconds, I will recognize you as a skilled bird rider. Alright, off you go. Alright, so, this is going to test your ability to become a good bird rider. And there is one. Two, three, and four. Alright, now it gets a little tricky. then. Tap. 
Ah, just missed it. Just missed the bird with the sign. Alright, I'm going out. I'm not going after that one. Ah. Ah. Piss poor angling. This one was a pain in the ass for me. I it took me several tries to do it. And I missed. Now I gotta wait for my bird to recharge. Hopefully I'll get a spiral charge here in just a second because I can get this one right. Here. Three more in 30 seconds. Ooh, there's one right there. Alright. So, oh no, that's just one of the birds. And I'm not gonna get it. A shame. A shame. You can't destroy ten targets in under on twenty seconds. I can't in good comp. <clears throat> Conscious, give you permission to use the dangerous technique. I'll be there for a while, so you won't do. Take a break. Come off. Come back. Talk to me. Okay. All right, guys. We're gonna try a couple more times. So here we go. Okay, we can just skip that. So we want to go after easy targets as quickly as possible. So I'm aiming for them as quickly as possible. So that I have as much time as possible to get any of the uh, harder ones. Alright, probably should have gone after this one right around the beginning, but that's alright. Ah. Wow. Oh boy. Wow, just bombed out. Looks like I'm going to be doing this a couple more times and doing some editing. Yeah, I'm going to be doing some editing. Wow. Wow. Maybe I'll get lucky. Doubt it. Yeah, doubt it. Yeah, I doubt it. All right. Alright guys, when I when I manage to get it, I know some of y'all will get turned off about it, but I want to keep showing failures after failures. Um, when I get it, I'll come back to y'all. Alright guys, so hang tight. Alright guys, here we go. I did manage to do it after three more times. Uh, yeah, three times. Oh, you managed to destroy ten targets within the time limit. If you can control your bird that well, you'll have no problems at all. I knew you could do it, Link. And what a magnificent red bird. You are hereforth permitted to use the spiral charge as a attack as a qualified bird rider. 
The next thing you will have to address is just how to go about finding Levias. Maybe the owner of the Lumpy Pumpkin might know something. Every year he makes an offering of his pumpkin soup for Levias. Go to Lumpy Pumpkin and ask him if what he knows. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and take a ride over to the Lumpy Pumpkin. I will see you guys there in a second, so hang tight. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the Lumpy Pumpkin, but we're not going to go in just yet. That's going to wait for the next episode. So in the next episode, we're going to go into the Lumpy Pumpkin, get the uh, yearly offerings that the owner has to Levias, and then we're going to make our way to the Thunderhead. So guys, hang tight, be safe, and I'll see y'all on the next episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword for the Wii. I have been, this is, I am the Laws 85, and I hope y'all enjoy. Signing out.